looking out for you. I see a lot of other bikers also use the sidewalk just for that reason. A cyclist hit and killed on the St. John's Bridge. The driver arrested. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Chris Holmstrom. 55 year old Mitchell York was hit and killed Saturday morning while he was riding his bike. Jennifer Dowling has the latest on this investigation, including the driver that hit him. And Jennifer, he's facing some serious charges. That's right, Chris. That driver is charged with criminally negligent homicide, and police say the victim, Mitchell York, was an avid cyclist logging about 500 miles a week on his bike. But another biker we talked to says the bridge itself has its own dangers. When the sun starts to set early and the leaves fall with the rain, cyclists like Marissa Johnson say the St. John's Bridge takes on a new persona. It's actually not that bad when it's not raining. When it's raining, it's a little scary. Although there are signs indicating there may be bikes on the road, she says the slick conditions and lack of visibility cause her to avoid sharing those busy lanes. I always do it on the sidewalks because the street freaks me out. It's intimidating when there's um, not actually a bike lane and you're using the same lane as the cars are. She says when cars crest over the high point of the bridge, there can be surprises. I've driven on this bridge too and always use the inside lane because I'm scared I'm going to run into a biker. 55 year old Mitchell York died on the bridge after 42 year old Joel Aaron Schrantz hit him in his SUV. According to police, the Toyota 4Runner had bald tires and police say while he was turning, his SUV fishtailed. Schrantz lost control and drifted into York's lane. The Oregon Department of Transportation is investigating. We're going to look at the police report, find out what happened on the bridge to see if there's anything in the design that could have changed things in here. This report from the police indicates that a motorist lost control. I don't know whether an additional bike lane would have made any difference in that bridge, but that's one of the things we're going to be looking into in the days ahead. Hamilton says the bridge is old and narrow, not up to modern bridge standards, but they've tried to make it safe. Uh, we've put sharrows on some of the lanes in there to make sure that the motorists know there's bicycles in the lanes. But Marissa says it's not enough to tempt her off the sidewalk. It makes them aware that they should look out for it, but nobody goes the speed limit on that bridge. And Schrantz has a history of violations stretching back to 1994 with previous convictions for failure to perform the duties of a driver causing property damage, driving with a suspended or revoked license, speeding and unauthorized use of a vehicle. He'll be arraigned on negligent homicide charges on Monday. Back to you, Chris. All right, Jennifer, thank you for that update.